Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Mr. Yurko here. We're going to be going over our reverse engineering lesson. So in this activity, I'm going to show you how to utilize this reverse engineering slideshow and how to work your way through the reverse engineering of this little birdhouse project we're looking at. So in this activity, um, first of all, let's go over some of the tools and functions you see here. Uh, every This is meant to be an interactive slideshow. Uh, the slides are not meant to be read directly in a straight line like pages in the book. There are buttons on each slide that will allow you to na navigate back and forth and I'll demonstrate how that works for you. These are the buttons you're going to see. Uh, you can see we've got a pencil button that links you back and forth between drawings. The home button will get you to the table of contents for the lesson. The exploded assembly icon will show you, get you back to the main exploded assembly page. These yellow number blanks are for finding the measurements. Uh, and the on shape YouTube button will get you to the tutorial videos so that you can see how to do each exercise page by page. Uh, these are some of the activities we're going to go over in the in this lesson, some of the things we're going to learn about. Uh, of course, we know that tearing things apart is tons of fun. Uh, we get into old things, new things, uh, trying to understand things that are natural or man-made. We can see all sorts of cool stuff, and we have fun with that. The process of taking stuff apart, documenting it so it can be redeveloped. That's called reverse engineering. We have a lot of fun with that. And this is going to be, a, be an interesting lesson. Uh, one of the things we're going to learn new in this lesson, and what I'm going to focus on today, is exercising with the dial calipers so you can measure objects. Uh, we can measure things to the nearest one thousandth of an inch. Uh, to give you an idea how small that is, one thousandth of an inch is about one third the thickness of a human hair. Uh, a piece of hair is somewhere between one and three thousandths of an inch. The thickness of a standard sheet of paper is four to five one thousandths of an inch. That's pretty big. Or, sorry, that's a pretty small measurement when you're looking at one thousandth of an inch. And our tools that we're going to be using this lesson will be able to measure things that small. So we're going to be improving our sketching skills, our modeling skills, and we're going to be improving, of course, our measuring skills. So this is the object we're going to reverse engineer. You can see it's a 3D birdhouse. Uh, the object exists in the real world. I have one right here for us to look at. Uh, there's a physical model of the gadget. We want to be able to reverse engineer and modify, model this so that someone else could build it or so that you could modify it to come up with a newer, better version. But first, we need to tear this one down and take a look at it. This is your exploded assembly view of the model. You can see all the individual parts of the birdhouse. We've got the roof. Of course, the roof is in two sections. We've got the side walls in light green. We've got the bottom in blue. We've got the back in green, in like a bright green. We've got the front in this purple color. And we've got the little peg in blue. The pencils on each part are links to the drawings of the object. So if I want to go click on this pencil button right here on the green part, that'll take me to the drawings for the front and back. And you can see I've got separate videos to help you out with the front and the back posted here. And then we've got measurement links here. And we can get back to the exploded assembly view that we just were at by clicking the little exploded assembly icon in the bottom of the page. So we've got, again, here is all of our different components in our exploded view. If I want to go to the bottom, there's the drawing of the bottom. Exploded view will take me back to the exploded view. A pencil will take me to our drawing of that part and back. 
So let's go ahead and do a part. So the first part we're going to take a look at and do is the top, of the roof. So here's the roof drawing. Now this is remember there were two parts of the roof. So I got the left roof and the right roof, and they're identical. So we're going to go. So I only need one drawing for both roof halves. So if you look down in the right hand corner of the screen, you can see I've already sketched this out on paper. This is what you'll need to do. You'll need to create your own sketch of your roof drawing and of course all the other parts in the model as you work through it and now we're going to go ahead and take the measurements of the parts for this object so let's go ahead and measure the thickness of this part by clicking on the yellow icon yellow thickness yellow measurement icon takes me near show that with dial calipers and we can see that my dial calipers are measuring this object and the jaws of the dial caliper are clamped down on that roof. You see I've got the roof turned in sideways. And we've got zero whole inches. And then one-tenth, two-tenths. We're not quite over the three-tenths. There's the little indicator. That's the indicator right here. Um, so we're halfway between the two and the three, or roughly halfway between the two and the three. So it's gonna, we're going to write down 0 0.2. And then we're going to come down here to get to the dial to get the following measurements. So we're at 0 0.2, 50, 1, 2, 3. So what do we type in here? What do we write in our drawing? You look down here on my right hand, look down in the right hand corner of the screen. You can see I'm going to write 0 0.253 inches. And that's my dimension for the thickness of my roof. Click the pencil icon to get back to the drawing. And let's go ahead and measure the width of the roof. The width of the roof is now able to be measured with a caliper. You can see we've got the part turned so we can measure the width. And let's see, we have zero inches, one, two, three whole inches. So we'll write down a three. decimal point uh, we're before the one so that's zero tenths and then on the dial we're at 20 on the nose so 20 so that is 3.020 inches that you can see for the roof width We'll hit the pencil icon, get back to the drawing. Let's measure the height of this of this roof. The height of the roof. Measure that. See, we've got zero, one, just past the two, so two inches. Decimal point. Uh, we're not past any, again, it's zero tenths past the Inch, so 2.0 and then 0, 0.04. So look at it again on the blade. 1, 2, 2. Point not past the 1, so 0, 2.0, 0, 0, and 4. Let me write that down. Get the pencil going on the back. Now you can take a look. Let's get that last measure. We have one last measurement. This is the angular measurement. And we're just going to write this in degrees. And we're at, if we're going to be measuring from here, we're at 45 or 135 degrees. So for the purpose of our activity, we'll take either, actually, as you look here, that's not, it's more than 45 degrees. 90 degrees is, is a right angle, so we're more than that, so we're going to call that 135. The way I drew it on the paper. 130, I'm going to scroll that up. 135 degrees. So you can see that those are 45 and 135 are complementary angles, they add up to 180 degrees. We're looking at the bigger one because we're measuring the distance from vertical 
down to the edge. That's the slope I measured. Uh, so we look at I, any in this in this example, this is 135, and the smaller one will be 45. All right, and we get all we've got all of our measurements. So now we can just hit the exploded assembly button, get us back to the exploded assembly, and we're ready to start the next model. So we can go ahead and click on our bottom, sketch the bottom view. and move on from here. So we want to continue this operation, this practice for all of the parts in your model that you're reverse engineering. In this case, it's a birdhouse. So go ahead and continue this on your own and check with me in class if you need additional help. But all you need to do is continue sketching, measuring, writing them down. And once you get all your draw, once you get all your sketches made, we'll go into on shape and make the parts. All right, folks. As always, keep being you. Keep being awesome.